Quadruped robots, robot dogs, are among the most recognizable faces of the new ground warfare. Their presence is almost eerie. Machines that move, not like machines, but like things, flexing, bounding, recovering balance when kicked. Boston Dynamics' Spot was the first to make the world look twice. Designed initially for industrial inspection, it quickly caught the Pentagon's attention. Weighing about 30 kilograms, Spot can carry sensors, cameras or communication gear, climb stairs and navigate rubble. The US military tested it for base patrols, tunnel mapping and nuclear inspection. It became, in essence, the perfect scout. Quiet, tireless, fearless. Then came Ghost Robotics Vision 60, a heavier military-grade evolution. Ruggedized, waterproofed and modular, the Vision 60 was designed for perimeter security and reconnaissance. At Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida, Vision 60s began patrolling autonomously, reporting intrusions, scanning with thermal sensors, even using AI to recognize threats. In 2021, an experimental version appeared at a defense expo carrying a rifle system, sparking global controversy. Ghost Robotics insisted it remained semi-autonomous. Critics saw the first steps toward killer robots. Either way, the symbolism was clear. The era of unarmed scouts was ending. China quickly answered. Its quadrupeds, sleek, modular, domestically produced, now appear in People's Liberation Army drills. Footage shows them disembarking from troop carriers, advancing in formation with infantry, sometimes armed with small automatic weapons. Integrated LiDAR, domestic AI chips, and swarm communications make them cheap and adaptive. Where the US pursues precision, China pursues mass. India joined the race with its own approach, affordability. Startups backed by the Defense Research and Development Organization unveiled low-cost quadrupeds built for mountain logistics. Robots that carry ammunition and rations to high-altitude posts where humans struggle for oxygen. Companies like Arrow Arc prototype dogbots for under a tenth of Western prices. Simpler electronics, longer endurance, easier repairs. But with each improvement, a question grows louder. When a robot can see, move and decide faster than a soldier, who really leads the fight?